For this video, I'm going to be taking you on a full tour of the Presque Isle Hotel located in Maine. So quick disclaimer before I jump into this hotel review. I am notorious for mispronouncing words. I've done my best to try to study how a lot of the words are pronounced up here in Maine, but um, it's inevitable that I'm going to end up pronouncing these words like a schmuck, hence the name of my YouTube channel. So today I'm in Presque Isle, Maine, and I'm on vacation here up in Aroostook County. Now this is a hotel that I've stayed at about two years ago, and it had a different name back then, and uh, a different owner, and um, I, the thing about a lot of these northern towns up here in Maine is um, there's not a lot of people that come and visit because it's so cold uh, so many months out of the year. And um, uh, a lot of these businesses struggle. And, uh, you know, the economy is just tougher up here. So the last time I stayed at this hotel, it was actually called the Presque Isle Inn and Convention Center. And right when I came up here the last time, they had a grand opening for the tavern restaurant that was located on site. So in 2023, this particular hotel closed abruptly. I believe they were having a financial hardship and the banks basically shut them down, uh, wouldn't give them an, like an extension to their loan. So uh, new owners came in and purchased this uh, particular uh, facility and has been working to renovate it. It only reopened a couple months ago and they changed the name to the Presque Isle Hotel. While I was there, they were um, putting new um, vinyl siding on, on the buildings. They were repairing a lot of the leaky windows. And uh, the hotel room that I, I was in was just freshly renovated. I mean, everything was brand new in the room, from the linens to the bed to the, the, the bathroom had been, you know, freshly um, redone. And the hotel room definitely makes a great first impression, uh, although some people might be a little, um, you know, I guess put off by the work-in-progress exterior. It reminds me a lot of the Howard Johnsons that I just reviewed in Branson. That was kind of the same kind of thing. It was just freshly purchased, and uh, they had been doing an extensive renovation on the entire facility. The thing that's kind of a head-scratcher for me is they really built this massive hotel and convention center. And the town of Presque Isle has, like, a population of, like, 10,000. So it's a small town, and, you know, I, the facility is probably way too big for... Uh, the surrounding community. I, it's just it's silly that they built something this crazy oversized. Uh, I know they were trying to push the convention center thing um, for the previous owners, but you know the, the people probably don't come up to northern Maine to do like trade shows and stuff. So, so the facility was like massively oversized, and I can understand why I was always running into issues um, trying to break even. It, I think the previous owners had tried to convert some of the uh, convention center space into a gym but that's currently closed and they kind of subdivided a lot of the convention space into little restaurants like there was a timeout sports bar like all the way in the front of the building there was a Italian restaurant kind of in the middle and then they built the old tavern towards the back of the lobby so there were three on-site restaurants built into this uh, building over time they're all closed right now so all of these things are, are shut down um, like I said it's tough to support uh, all these different uh, small businesses in a town of 10,000. And, you know, because this was only recently purchased by the new owners, they don't have the swimming pool open yet and running. I'm sure that'll, that'll be uh, up and running probably in time for next summer, but uh, right now that's closed. Uh, they are doing a good job renovating, but this facility is so big that um, there's a lot of the uh, previous amenities that are just shuttered at the moment. So for the bottom line score for this one, I, I don't even know how to rate it because this one's so early in its renovation process that um, uh, when I reviewed Branson, I mean, they had a, a empty swimming pool, but pretty much everything else was already finished. And uh, it was just a matter of tweaking some of the landscaping. But um, this one's so much earlier in the renovation process that um, it's tough to nail down an actual score because I had a pleasant stay. But there were like certain things in my hotel room that weren't finished. Uh, for example, on the wall, they had the mount for the um, the shampoo dispenser, but uh, they didn't have the actual dispenser up yet. So, I uh, I just went to Walgreens and bought some shampoo, and I didn't. I didn't. They they had so many other things that they were working on in the hotel that 
I wasn't going to give him a hard time about not having shampoo in the room. Now, one thing that I'll point out, too, is if you're planning to stay at the hotel while they're doing these renovations on, like, the siding and everything, it's noisy. Uh, they got the, like, the powered lift driving around in the, the grass, and they're just constantly banging on the side of the, the buildings. Now, considering I was pretty much the only person staying here on a weekday, nobody really cares about all the noise that the, the sidings cause. Uh, they didn't do any of the, uh, the siding upgrades on the weekends because... Uh, there were a lot of cars in the in the the parking lot for the weekends. I mean, there was probably like 40 or 50 cars and a lot of guests. But uh, if you stay here on a weekday, you're pretty much going to be by yourself in the hotel, and um, you're going to listen to a lot of noise as their uh, you know the renovations are ongoing. So this is my first hotel review where I'm just not going to issue a bottom line score because the renovation process is so fluid at the moment. It's just not going to be accurate. But if you're someone where the, the racket of the uh, construction crew is going to bother you during the daytime, then I definitely would probably suggest a different hotel. Thanks for joining me on this tour of the Presque Isle Hotel. If you enjoyed this vlog of the Adventure Schmuck, don't forget to like and subscribe.